Good afternoon, my friends. This is Krebs here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of... Ooh, playing? Ooh. More like watching some pre-recorded footage of War Thunder. Exciting stuff. Well, it is actually exciting, exciting to be honest with you guys, because we're going to be taking a look at the A26C45, a level 16 premium plane bomber, which is a bit notorious of how hard it is to get. Um, this is one of the planes, if you actually go into the tech tree for the Americans and highlight it, you'll notice that you can only get this plane from special events. You can't normally get it. So, there was actually, uh, you might be asking me, uh, Krebs, how the hell did you get this plane if you can't actually normally get it? Well, it's because there was a giveaway today, part of this one uh, gaming magazine that's online called GameStar.de. They were giving away a bunch of these planes that uh, Gaijin donated to them. And it went a bit crazy to say the least. Yeah, when some people were talking about it on the forums, uh, that was okay. There wasn't that many people claiming it. But then, uh, lo and behold, I <coughs> somebody, <coughs> me, <coughs> Krebsy, <coughs> made a video explaining how to actually get the plane from the giveaway and I think it went a bit crazy we had uh, over a thousand views on that video near enough instantly and uh, yeah yeah the uh, GameStar.de actually took out that took down that article because uh, too many non-Europeans were claiming codes so intentions were good but I guess that they weren't probably that happy about non uh, German-speaking people <laughs> having access to to those uh, codes. So uh, there you go. That was the the giveaway taken down, and I think they might actually do it again, but only for German people that time. Uh, this time, <coughs> German VPNs. <coughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe that will work. Who knows? But anyway, Krebsy uh, claimed a code for this plane, and a few of you were asking for me to actually make a video about it. So I decided. Why not? Let's go ahead and actually make a video of it. I almost never go out as bombers. If you know me, I love playing in fighters and a bomber. What the hell is that? What do you do with a bomber? So I'm on a <laughs> I'm on Wake Island, and in order to win this map, it's a bit of a different sort of uh, uh, game mode because it's a little bit unique. You have these landing crafts which come from cargo ships, and those uh, have tanks that come out of them, and then those tanks eventually uh, capture airfield airfield and that's how you end up winning the game so if you can you have to try to destroy those landing crafts before the tanks come out because it's like it's almost like a pyramid effect okay you've got cargo ships which have like three cargo which have uh, landing crafts that come out of them like three landing crafts and then those landing crafts have multiple tanks that come out so it just it's like a add-on pyramid effect so if you can try to destroy it from uh, the base of the pyramid or would you think of that more like the top of the pyramid well if you destroy it at the heart whatever then you'll uh, be able to be successful in the game mode so that's what I was doing there uh, taking out some landing crafts of the strafing run actually three of them not that hard to kill and actually destroying a bunch of the ships with my bombs um, I believe I'm loaded out with four 1,000 pump, <laughs> four 1,000 pound bombs at the moment. At least I think so. Well, that's Krebsy down. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually jump on it over to another game. And yeah, I'm loaded out with four 1,000 pound bombs. The nice thing about this plane is that you can actually go up to uh, two 2,000 pound bombs. But the way that I like to think about it, well. At 2,000 pound bombs, I think you're going to be using that for like airfield destruction or battleship destruction, carrier destroying. Um, when when you're when you're on a map that has a lot of targets, a lot of tanks, a lot of artillery pieces, destroyers, whatever, I think it kind of makes sense to separate your uh, destructive power amongst a variety of bombs. So I actually went for four. 1,000 pound bombs because that's still plenty to use to uh, separate amongst different targets and usually 1,000 pounds is enough to actually destroy targets. Uh, I was actually contemplating to myself maybe I should go for 8 500 pound bombs and to be honest I'm not sure if you can still one hit heavy tanks with a 500 pound bomb but I imagine you know it sounds quite heavy to me I imagine you probably could so maybe even getting a five. 
Eight 500 pound bombs would be good enough. So, if there's something that you can be said about the A26, is that it's essentially to me, it feels like a Havoc, a, a tier 5 Havoc, I'm sure you guys know what that is. A tier 5 Havoc, but in a higher tier game. Honestly, it, it feels like that. It's, it's a fast, nimble aircraft, uh, not as bad as the Havoc. It, it actually has better maximum speed. It's more agile than the Havoc, but essentially when it comes to the armaments, it has six uh, 50 cal machine guns, which is the same, uh, turrets, the same, but it has access to heavier bombs on it, so that's all you can really say about it. And at, tier, at a tier 16, I think I think it's kind of a kind of crap to be in, to be honest. I think tier 16 is a bit too high. Um, I think it should be at tier 10, and below because at tier 16 you're put up against jets as I am in this match there's gonna be fortresses um, that are able to drop many many more times bombs than you can so it's like yeah they're getting a lot more kills than ground target kills than I'm gonna be getting in this plane and that's why I think it should be lowered uh, you, you noticed that there was actually uh, a jet that tried to sideswipe me there but um, he wasn't successful whatever doesn't matter. Um, but overall, I, I could say that I believe it should be put down into uh, lower tier matches. Its rewards are a little bit strange. I'm taking on a MiG right here. Why not? I think one of the best ways to actually take on an enemy jet is to just say, come at me, bro. And uh, just shoot at it whilst it's coming at you. Because the thing is, my plane, it only has like 5,000 lines to uh, fully repair it. Their plane... You know, MIG, whatever, it's going to be like 15,000, 16,000, a whole lot more, right? So I think they're going to be a bit conservative, they don't want to lose their plane, and when I'm coming straight on at them, they're probably going to break off. At least you'd hope so anyway. But then again, sometimes you get newbies in higher tiers. In every game you get newbies in higher tiers, whatever. Um, the one strange thing about this plane, though, is that it doesn't have big reward bonuses on it. Like, a lot of times you'll actually go out into, say you buy a premium plane... You spend actual money on a premium plane, okay? You actually get bonuses on it. It would be like plus 100% lions or plus 100% reward and then an extra plus 100% on top of that because it's a premium plane. Whereas this one, it only has a plus 110% reward. That's it. No more. Okay, so it's a bit strange. Maybe it's because it's a plane that you can get for free, but you still think that a premium plane, maybe you'd get better income from it, but oh well. I guess they really want to just give uh, the big bonuses to people who pay money in the game. Anyway, Krebs is uh, flying a little bit of a hybrid uh, flying flight style at the moment. Yeah, dogfighting in an A26. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. I honestly could not resist it. I mean, I, I just became... I longed for a fighter so badly in this match. I was just like, ground targets, I never do this stuff. I wanted to kill uh, some air targets, and funnily enough, I did it. Six, mind you, six 50 cal guns, okay, it's not the most powerful out there, especially at a tier 16, but it's six, okay, it's still powerful. In, in real life, historically, the A26C could actually go up to uh, eight 50 cal machine guns. Uh, mind you, this is the A26C, this is a, a different model, this one actually had the Norden bomb sight on at the front so that they could do more precision uh, bombing. Oh my god, almost... I almost killed myself with that bomb. The A26B, which was a different variant, different model, actually had a hard nose, didn't have that Norden bomb site for precision bombing. And that actually allowed it to get uh, ridiculous cannons. It could get normal cannons, it could even get freaking howitzers on there, like the 70 millimeters and above, whatever. Oh, crazy stuff. Um, historically speaking. But anyway. This is the A26C model, so the one with the Norden bomb site. At least you'd presume so, anyway. Uh, I'm flying with one engine right now, and despite having one engine, I'm still managing to get about 270 kilometers an hour, which is really that bad at all. Don't you think so? 280 and so, and plus. That's really not that bad. With one engine, I'm going, the other one fuming. I'm still flying pretty successfully here. Um. The bomb reload times, they might look uh, quite nice, but I've actually got a fully trained crew. I, I got the qualifications on it. I've got an ace crew on it, so I do have the uh, 
fastest reload speed possible. So don't be thinking like, oh, just because in the previous video Krebs didn't get qualifications, then maybe this one has a ridiculous reload time. No, I've got the full qualifications on this one. I'm thinking maybe I might have to use my back gunner here because there's a FW uh, Fokker Wolf 190 right behind me. How the hell do you use your back gunner? That's the question that I've got to ask you guys. How do you use your back gunner? Are you supposed to like... Because I've noticed that it seems like the drop off is, is quite a bit more than than your normal cannons. Maybe it's just me than my normal machine guns. Maybe it's just me, but like, maybe I need to actually aim for that, that tracer just like as if I was using uh, my front guns. It feels like a lot of times I miss more often. Maybe it's just the fact that it's the back guns and they don't do as much damage so it doesn't say, oh you got a hit. You know, yada yada yada. Anyway, the video is coming too close soon here. I think I'm going to be dying uh, quite promptly. Survive for... Uh, I thought it was a pretty long time. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, and that's the A26C, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Can Krebs summarize what the plane is like? Um, yeah, it's a nice plane. I like it. If it it's, you can't complain for something that's free. Uh, however, I do believe that it needs to be in the lower tiers. That's, that's all I'm going to say, okay? Uh, hopefully, there will be another giveaway. And if there is a giveaway, I will let you guys know promptly. I still have one code available for this plane. And you know what, guys? I am so nice. I'm going to post this code right in front of your screen. Oh, my gosh. If you're one of the first people to claim this code on the War Thunder website or Uplay, well, congratulations to you. If you try to claim the code and it says... This code has been redeemed. Well, unfortunately, somebody else has redeemed it. But anyway, until next time, guys, this is Krebs, and I will catch you all later. Later. Right, so here we go. Three, two, one.